Buongiorno, siamo i ragazzi del Bookblog e siamo qui con Matching Glazer che ha appena presentato il suo libro Polvere d'Ambra. Eh, lei nel suo libro, eh, Matching, nel, nel tuo libro tu se non sbaglio hai affrontato eh, il problema del tempo, ti sei incentrata sulla figura degli atemporali esseri che sono in grado di controllare il tempo. Ecco, ti volevo porre questa domanda, se mai qualcuno riuscisse appunto a controllare il tempo non diverrebbe un despota perché il tempo no, diverrebbe una sorta di nuovo denaro e quindi essendo molto più prezioso di esso eh, non diverrebbe una risorsa eh, che nessun altro può avere? Maybe uh, that could be dangerous. Um, so the uh, the timeless people have very strict rules uh, how how it works to control the time. So no one um, can um, can control everything. So they have that lot of time who uh, is very like he can't um, change anything in the real world because he's not. Um, he's not fully human anymore, so he is, has no interest, and they have that, uh, yeah, that leader. So um, they, yeah, uh, prevent that uh, danger. But yeah, so that's um, it's it's really important that they uh, keep um, keep their life as a secret, so no one knows about um, that possibility to. Um, Yeah, to uh, control the time because of that problem. Eh, Un'altra domanda. Eh, lei in questo libro parla del tempo legato più all'invecchiamento e al deterioramento dell'essere vivente. Ma ne, se noi considerassimo il tempo come passaggio da un'epoca più antica a una più moderna, cioè come innovazione, lei eh, pensa che si potrebbe controllare o no? I'm not sure if I got that question right, but um, yeah, I, I think um, the timeless people use a lot of stuff from ancient times and um, yeah, uh, have have their own like that that palace uh, um, under uh, under Rome uh, where they have um, a lot of stuff from like very different um, times but um, they can't go to the future so they won't so it's not like time traveling so they can't just um, visit future and look what inventions will be there and use them so they they just can keep st things from the past but not going forward so I think there's um, yeah so it's limited uh, what they can use and what not so eh, L'ultima domanda, eh, lei nel suo libro fa riferimenti fa, al capolavoro shakespeariano Amleto, è, rius ecco, è riuscita a, dar a darsi, a darsi e se ci può dare una risposta al famoso quesito to be or not to be?
indeed a question the timeless people are um, yeah, thinking about because um, they have the ability to be forever. So they uh, just can live in that palace and uh, stay there, uh, not getting any older. They don't have to die, but they, yeah, well, they just are there. So they um, can't go anywhere else. There's no... Uh, no future for them or no, no, no nothing changes at all so they are like trapped in um, yeah like like a drop of amber so yeah they they are but uh, they they don't evolve or uh, go go to other places so yeah that's a question that's um, playing a role in the book too thanks bye <laughs>